students welcome back so in the previous video i explained uh, the command line argument on paper okay so there i had explained the program uh, still if you are facing any uh, problem in executing the program on command line argument so let watch this video uh, whatever the program i had explained now i am executing this uh, that program in the ide okay so in the core java right click open new and the class select the class so here I'm giving the class name as a command line. Okay, because this is a command line argument. Whatever the name you want, you can give. So I'm uh, so public static void finish. So I command, uh, so here now I'm writing the program. What I have to do? I'm taking the enhanced for loop for a string S is equal to string is a class. So string S is equal to whatever the arguments that are passing on the main. So in the main, I'm passing the arguments so that I'm taking that variable. So or ops system dot out dot print ln. Yes. So this is not is equal to this is colon because it, this is enhanced for loop syntax. So whatever the argument is zero, that will be passed to S. So that is going to be print. Next argument one that we are passing at the command line that will be copied into the S and that is going to be print. So this is our program. So try to save the program. So how to execute uh, the command line arguments in uh, IDE? It's a simple. So before executing, suppose if you are directly going with this command line and you are using the run as, and the run configuration, you won't, uh, this uh, program will not appear here. See here, command line dot Java file is not there. So what happened? So first try to run the program, right click on command line, run as Java application. Okay, so first try to run the program. Okay, after running the program, now go back, right click, on the class name, run as. Now select the run configuration, run configuration. So now if you see here, this is a command line, command line. So in this command line class name, you have to click on arguments tab. This is the arguments tab. Now try to give whatever the argument that you want to be passed at the runtime. So I want to give welcome to all about CSIT, okay? Welcome space to space all about all about CSIT. So this is uh, the arguments that I, I passed. So this is argument zero, right? And this is argument one. And this is argument two. So whatever these arguments are there, so that will be passed into S and that is going to be printed, right? So now try to uh, apply and run. So whenever I click on the run, so see here, whatever the arguments that I passed, that, that has printed. So this is the way you have to execute the command line arguments. So the simple thing, first try to run the program, run as Java application. Then only you go for the run configuration. Without running the program, if you go with the run configuration, you can't see your file there. Okay, so this is a simple uh, mistake everyone is doing. So let me execute the another program that I explained in the previous video. A program to demonstrate command line arguments. So here, instead of for loop, what I'm taking here is, so directly I'm taking uh, system dot out dot print ln. So now here, I want to uh, take only uh, concatenate two arguments, whatever I'm entering there at the command line, I want to concatenate that argument zero plus argument one. Argument zero plus argument one. That's it, string concatenation. Okay, system dot out dot print ln argument zero. So whatever the argument zero plus argument one. Okay. So that I want to be print. So public static void main string arguments system dot out dot print ln print ln argument zero plus argument one. Okay. So try to execute it. 
so system dot out dot print ln okay so see you here one i think i had missed something argument zero so s s i missed so that's why it's showing an error so it's a sim everything is shown in the screen only so you have to observe system dot out dot print ln argument zero and arguments one so this is the main advantage in the eclipse ide in the ide if you are trying to write so it will be differentiate with the colors so here i miss the s so this will be printed uh, appeared in one color and this will be appeared in another color so that means you have done a mistake here okay so the, i miss the s here so now try to save the program so what i have to do so first run the program run as java application okay so whatever the statement i have entered that is concatenated so try to run as run configuration so previously these are the arguments are there so try to give like uh, this time i'm trying to giving 30 40 50 60 whatever the numbers you are given it only takes the first two arguments argument 0 and argument 1 that is 30 and 40 it will be take it will it won't pin, print 70 it will print 30 40 both are concatenated so see here output run see here 30 40 both are concatenated not 30 plus 40 that is not the 70 here argument 0 is concatenated with the argument 1 argument 0 is a 30 and argument 1 is a 40 both are concatenated okay so this is the uh, about the command line arguments the program to demonstrate the command line arguments so in this way you have to execute the programs on the command line it's simple thing first write the program go with the right click here first run the program as java application after running the program then go for the run configuration in that run configuration select the class whatever you want whatever you are executing go with the arguments tab try to enter the arguments program arguments virtual machine arguments no need only just write the program arguments and apply and run that's it thank you